good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking good day friends we have got the artillery sw4 this is the silicone boot and you can see i've got a crap ton of filament that climbed up the boot i was printing this flexi snake and as you can see the boot popped off and i've already removed the filament from the boot using a heat gun and a vise and a little screwdriver to push it out here are some steps to get the rest fixed in a jiffy. Start by finding the correct Allen wrench and removing these two screws. They are tiny. Make sure you put them somewhere. You're not going to lose them. And then this is connected with a wire. So you can notice I've got it balanced right there. The printer does power on. So right now I'm going to heat up the nozzle. Right now I'm clicking and doing 220 or 222 just because it's easier to type. And then when that heats up, we'll be able to get that filament off this is where i really appreciate how quick this heats up it's already up to 222 celsius and see down here we've got a little bit of filament coming out and then what i'm doing is i'm just using a little screwdriver to gently pull down so we can get rid of that big hunk of filament that crept out the silicone boot of course this also gives you a chance to see inside the cooling the fans and all the other parts that are included on the artillery x4 pro not quite hot enough yet you can see it starting to move now of course 222 celsius you don't want to be touching this with anything that's part of you because that will burn and there it goes now you do want to be careful there are wires up here that you don't want to bump and then I'm just going to keep using a little screwdriver to clean off as much of the plastic as I can before I let it cool and slide this block back up there. I do want to show you the boot has a spot right here. That's the way that you aim it so that it doesn't run into those wires. Of course, if anybody's got any better tips on how to make sure this doesn't happen again, I'm always listening. All right, with it clean, I'm going to shut it off let it cool and then I'll attach that boot. I want to make sure I do not damage this cable so I'm going to use a little twist tie. Push it through that hole, fold it over, and then I'm going to attach this to the ribbon cable so that way it stays in place while I'm doing the rest of this process. Alright so I'm going to raise that up so that I have easier access. You'll notice I've got my boot on. We had a minor footage issue so we are recreating these steps. So with that heated up even just a little bit, the boot comes off. Super quick recap, the boot had been pushed off initially when the print failed. I found it sitting on the bed. And then of course I removed that PLA using the heat gun and a little screwdriver. I'm going to power everything off right now so that cools so I can attach the boot. One last reminder that you want it aimed this way so it works with the wires. And with it all cooled off, we can simply slide that boot back up on and get it into position. All right, there you can see that is what it looks like with the tip pointing out. Of course, now I can take away my little twist tie. Once again, that just holds it in place so that we don't put any more stress on that wire than we need to. And of course, I'm going to put in the little screws to reattach it. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.